All right, here we have the junkyard find collection of all the Explore GT40 parts that I picked up at the junkyard. Um, I'm not yet like the big expert on this, but I'm kind of just doing an overall overview of what I got and what um, the advantages are switching to these GT40 Explorer parts. Um, so I guess I'll start with the upper manifold. So here's the GT40. Now, there's a lot of videos about this stuff, you know, kind of about this, that, and the other, you know, the heads or the intake, or I'm just kind of just putting it all together, I guess. Um, so here we got the upper intake manifold pieces, and right off the bat, you can see, bam, there's like this skinny, this is the main passage coming in. You got a smaller opening, I think that's like 60 millimeter. You got a tiny little passage in here. Check out the GT40, big passage, 65 millimeter opening. Um, and then if you look at the fittings, oh, one thing to note too is I got definitely get the bolts because you got four long bolts on the GT40. So when you're at the junkyard, don't just throw these away. You need them because you only got two on the stock manifold. And uh, so then if we flip them over, you can do a comparison because there's a little bit different setup with the vacuum fittings. All right, so you can see. The orientation is different, but this, it still has the EGR port. You got the bigger ports coming through, which are staggered like that or alternating. Um, Cause the small ones are so small, they just put them in a straight line on the stock manifold. Um, and then, yeah, so you got your, all your different stuff going on. Um, basically, um, you can see there's a large line coming in here. That one uh, is for the uh, brake line, I believe. And then you got your PCV. That looks basically the same right there. So that's good. Then you got, this one is an EVAP inlet. So you can hook up that right there. And then you have two small vacuum lines coming off the tree here, which if you uh, grab them from the junkyard, there's this little two to one that comes right off of here on the Explorer intake. So everything is doable. Um, you can just plug this one. You can see they just put a plug on the stock. So I just put a plug over that and uh, everything should be good. Um, oh, except for the spacer. Here's the stock spacer. So on the Explorer, it has a 90 degree elbow. So you're gonna need to source a larger spacer because this opening um, is definitely smaller than the one on the GT40. So you don't wanna reuse this. Uh, I just took it out just for reference to show it. Uh, it had a lot of crap on the coolant side because oil got in there. And uh, anyways, so yeah, you're gonna need to get the 65 millimeter of this, which I believe would come on a Cobra, but I'm sure there's not a lot of those around. You get aftermarket. And here's the throttle bodies. I picked up the throttle body as well. You can see the difference in the size. No, oh, it's positioned the same. So you can bolt up the uh, idle controller. This fitting fits a points the opposite direction, but you can always wrap a hose around to that. Throttle position sensor is the same location. The only thing is the linkage. And uh, from what I see online, you can switch the linkage between the two by removing the sensor and unbolting and taking it out, taking out the butterfly, and you can switch it and reconfigure it. So I got that as well. Then I got the injectors, because uh, those are really cheap. These are the, these are the modern style. See the, the Fox body comes with this old school single pencil type setup. It's actually a Denso, it's a pretty good quality injector. But this is the Bosch type three. This is a more modern, has the four hole on it. It's supposed to be better, more efficient, I think. So I grabbed those and then you got the heads, of course. This is just one uh, original head and a GT40 head. Of course, it has the three hash marks there, so you can tell what it is. Um, and then I brought the Thermactor pipe, so you can see um, the issue with that. Uh, there's some videos, good videos out there explaining how you can tap a hole so you can mount this pipe. It's not going to function because uh, the Thermactor port on the back of the stock head runs through and has a little outlet 
if you feel inside each of the exhaust ports there's a little outlet where air is blowing in but if you check on the gt40 head there's kind of like a little spot for it but there's nothing there so it's not going to function even if you tried to drill it out and basically to pass smog because this is a california car you're going to need to just tap the hole for that goes uh, where the bolt goes through and mounts to the back of the head and then you should be good because basically there's a diverter valve here that shoots the air to either the heads or back to the h pipe and then there's also a valve on the end with the pump that will just divert it to the atmosphere which i believe is probably what's going to happen when you just block these off so uh, from what everybody says it doesn't cause any kind of problem it doesn't affect how the car runs um so yeah um oh then we got our lower intake manifolds and from what i found so far um well yeah there's the obvious differences so you gotta get a spot for this is the original of course and there is a place but it needs to be drilled and tapped uh, you can find information on what size the threads are i'm just going to run it to the machine shop i think have them take care of that but yeah you need to put your act sensor here and then uh, you got a temperature center that goes there that that is already in place and that's of course your heater pipe fitting that's the same and then there's also this little coolant fitting that goes up to the EGR spacer. So it goes right up here. Um, you're gonna need that to have everything back to stock and original. So we're gonna tap that out as well. And I think that's about it. So this is just kind of an introduction of what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to say I'm the first guy to do it, but I'm trying to get the best bang for my buck and see what the results are. Might even try doing a little bit of light porting if I can research that as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, all this stuff was like super cheap. Paid about $150 and they had a half off sale. 